Good evening. Virgin Galactic was hoping to turn tourists into astronauts within months, but today the project was dealt a serious setback when its Spaceship 2 exploded during a test flight over California's Mojave Desert. One of the two crew members was killed. This happened just three days after an unmanned rocket blew up on liftoff in Virginia. Two serious blows to America's commercial space program in one week. Ben Tracy is looking into today's accident. The wreckage was scattered in pieces across a remote section of the Mojave Desert. It's what's left of Virgin Galactic's Spaceship Two. Two test pilots were on board. Only one survived with major injuries. George Whitesides is the chief executive of Virgin Galactic. Space is hard, and uh, today was a tough day. This was Spaceship Two in a test flight last year. Release, release, release. Today's accident came shortly after the space plane disconnected from its mother aircraft and fired up its rocket engine. The company had been testing a new fuel mixture that would give the craft the extra boost needed to get it into space. Kevin Mickey was in charge of today's flight. This was a new fuel formulation, again, that had been proven and tested on the ground many times. Today's test flight was the 55th for the space plane, which was intended to be the first craft to offer tourists a suborbital trip. More than 700 people have already booked a seat at a price of more than $200,000 each for the two-hour experience. Virgin Galactic's owner, British billionaire and adventurer Richard Branson, bought the first seat and has been passionate about the project from day one. Ordinary people, and I know $200,000 is not necessarily an ordinary person, but in time it will be ordinary people, will be able to have a chance to become astronauts, go into space. Branson tweeted his condolences and said he was flying to Mojave immediately to be with the team. Investigators from the National Transportation Safety Board are on their way as well to help determine the cause of the crash that is likely going to be an extraordinary setback for the budding commercial space industry. After years of delays and technical issues, Virgin Galactic thought it was close to finally launching its commercial space business. Had this test gone well here today, Scott, they plan to do that as early as next year. That now is very unlikely to happen. Ben Tracy in the Mojave Desert Forest tonight. Ben, thank you.